Hello everyone and thanks for stopping by to Scrap and Craft with Terry. Today I'm going to rejoin the bingo challenge again. And that's put on by Becca at So Darn Twisted. And I used to do these and then kind of got out of it. Kind of got busy with other stuff, but can jump back in anytime you want. And... If you haven't checked out um, So Darn Twisted, check her out. She does a lot of pretty things. So we're going to go ahead and get started. What she does is she gives you four prompts that you have to make something out of. And my numbers was 23, which is charm. Four, which is stickers. 13 is journal card. And number eight is a bow. So you have to use, you can make whatever you want. She doesn't care. You have to just use each one of them items in your project. So if you like my video, I just ask that you give me a thumbs up. Check out my other ones. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I had, this is just a digital. It says postcard on it. So I'm going to use this as my journal card. And I'm going to back it on this red lightweight cardstock. And I already um, rounded my corners to match, kind of match the postcard. So I'm going to go ahead and I have to grab one thing. Hang on. Okay. Just had to grab my little, my little brush. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. How many of you join into the bingo challenge? It's a lot of fun. I need to start doing it again. Makes me think. Okay, so I'm going to put that on there. That could have been over a little farther, but that's okay. We don't mind. Now on the back of it, because it's, it's red and writing, you know, pen, ink pen or that would show up on it. But I'm just going to um, ink this up a little bit. Just with a light color. Just kind of blend it out a little bit. Just to take the white away. I like doing this. And it'll kind of match a little bit with the colors in the postcard. Doesn't have to be perfect. And that's good enough. And then I'll just kind of ink around it a little bit. Oops. this off. I'm going to glue this on the back here. That'll be our journal part. And this is not going to be a long video. I generally have all my stuff cut out and waiting. Try to do very little inking on video.
think my camera's or my phone is tipping. Okay, there we go. So that looks cute. All right, now I have just this little um, tag that I cut out. I can kind of ink the back of this a little tiny bit. I would even be able to write a few notes on this. That'll just kind of go with that. It all goes together pretty good. I think I already inked around the outside. Then all I'm going to do with this is I made a little hole in the paper. But I covered it up. So I'll have to make another hole. And I'm just going to hang that in my charm. I'm just going to use a needle to poke a hole. And I seen some lady on YouTube made something similar to this. I think she made hers out of cloth. I just used felt and I just kind of sewed it together for my needles and any other sharp thing that you might want to put in it or anything else and of course I don't have it filled up my needles are still in packs but you can put your straight pins in it I made one for my daughter and I both <clears throat> okay so we have a butterfly on here, so my little charm is a butterfly, and I like butterflies. So I'm just going to hang this through here. I have the red ball pin, or I guess that's what you call them. And I'm just going to, with the journal cart with the red on there makes it a little tighter there I'm just gonna bring that down like that and let it hang so there's my charm and my bow did I lose my bow I think I lost my bow between here and there I'll be right back wasn't really sure how I could lose a bright red bow but I guess it's probably not hard now I'm just going to glue that up in here like that to turn a little bit flatter if it would there we go I just tied this with some ribbon is not cooperating very well I think I like it like this maybe a little bit better so I could just turn that some don't want it too big it'll be too big for the postcard there we go I'm going to put it there, and that poor little baby's going to have to lay just the way it lays. Because I don't want to make another bow. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little glue in here, just to hold it so it doesn't come unglued. And then let's see, I'm just going to glue it right there in the center. Tried to put my charm hanging from, I tried to put the charm to hang from the bow, but 
couldn't get it to lay down the way I liked it. So, or the way I wanted it to. So I thought the little card would go good with it. And it could just hang off of there. I guess I better let that thing sit still so it'll dry. Now, so that's my bow. And for my sticker, I have one of these. It says, all things are possible if you believe. And I'm going to stick that down here. It has a little bit of sticky on the back of it. But I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on. Because I've had this for like years. I'm just going to stick that down there. And you still have a little bit of journaling space here. I could have stuck a little faux postage stamp up there. But you can do most anything to it. So we have our journal spot on the back. So that's my journaling card, my bow, my gem, and my sticker. So... Let me know down in the comments what you think of my journal card. And hope you come back to see me for my next video. If you have any comments, leave them down below. I like to read my comments. So until then, hope everyone has a wonderful day. Happy crafting. Bye for now.